All right, let's do this. Let's start it. All right, so uh, we've done three so far: weapons guide, pros and cons of joining a group, and tactics fall in action. That's the three of them that we've done so far, and we have four more planned. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about our podcast of Death Zone. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. You can listen. You can ask questions. I'm not talking about real life. Yes, I'm. It's a death zone guide. I'm making a series of guides. Today, this one's gonna be on the shadows event. Um, so today was supposed to be tactics while in action for combat, but I figured that I would do shadows event now rather than later because we have the whole month, and the earlier people get to know the stuff, um, the better advantage they have for the next like 29 days. So, um, shadows event. Pretty cool thing, guys with eyeballs, and if you kill them, you get points, and the more points you get, the more stuff you get, and the stuff is cool. So, first thing, smaller shadows are more worth it, because they take much less uh, ammo to kill, and the giants take like two times as much to kill them, but they give around the same amount of points. The giants do give more, but it's more worth it to go for the smaller ones. And most importantly, keep your distance and stay as far away as possible to shoot. The AI cannot see very far. Just in the prison, you almost have no choice. But the farther you are, and if you're behind their back, it's much easier to kill them. And one thing about combat, um, the giants throw boulders. And if you didn't know, the boulders do damage. If you want to dodge the boulders, like dodge earlier. Don't like dodge uh, by moving to the side as the giant goes into his windup. Don't dodge until the boulder leaves his hands because it's very likely you'll still get damage. You know, it's just the boulders are kind of annoying, but they're easy to avoid. And just try to stay in open spaces to dodge them better because if you're in close space, it's likely to hit you. That being said, try to stay away from all the secluded buildings. Um, the shadows spawn all over the place, in the militarized zones, uh, also the laboratory, you know, prison, those places, they all spawn shadows, and they spawn pretty fast, but, um, just try not to fight in prison and stuff, because prison is very close up, and since the demons like to spawn right behind you sometimes, I will recommend avoiding trying to fight in the close-up zones, um, and yeah. Uh, hitboxes for the demons are really, really messed up. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you can definitely still hit headshots, but it's extremely hard to get them. Like, it's, 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 it's extremely hard to hit the head from the back. If you've ever tried shooting... You know, you know, you know. Then the body hitbox, or no? From the back? Okay. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um... Yeah, I was gonna say, um... When I've tried shooting the shadows from the back of the head, it's harder to hit them because it still registers as body shots sometimes. So the best thing to do is aim for the horns. If you have more time on your hands, then just shoot them, like, right at the horns on their head, and then it, it, it usually registers as, head, as a headshot. But, when I say try to fight at range, try not to go for the off. Like, the off is good at range, but they have less DPS. If you don't know what DPS is, it's like damage per second. Um, and, yeah, some, some weapons have lower DPS than others, but rounds per minute compared to damage is what decides the damage per second. And, you know, weapons that can exert more power quickly are better, and... The AWP doesn't have high DPS, but the main reason people use it is because it's good at range. But, that being said, the AWP is just never good at trying to fight at any other range than long range. Because the AWP can exert power fast. Uh, the AWP can exert power with one shot, rather than stuff like the M60 that works much better up close. Because the M60 is much more powerful if you just use a close range, because you can exert shots faster, which does more damage, but it's it's much more of a gamble at long range, because you're gonna miss more. 
and range, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how far you are, the closer you are, the better, because you can hit more shots if you're closer up. And range does, it almost never matters to these guys, because they're practically blind. Shooting them from the back, they, they also have more, uh, they also have less range if they're going to, if you're going to engage an enemy, shooting them from the back is easier and they won't see you. Um... <laughs> god. Oh god, okay. Um, giants can't fit through some doors. If you've ever been to factory or prison, they always get stuck on, like, human-sized bases. And you can take advantage of that, because they also can't throw boulders through, and they just bounce off. So the boulders are very bouncy. Take advantage of that all the time. They will always uh, miss their boulder, or like they'll just get their head stuck on the top, and that's kind of funny, but take advantage of that. I don't know what you might want to do with that information, but it's useful. Trust me. Um, also... Great one. Uh, Maria told us this, but Shadow Demons can be kidnapped and taken in your vehicle. It's really fun. You can keep a pet, or you can keep a slave, and you can even, like, um, trigger them on people. Like, um... Like that, the, 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 that, that scene in, uh, 28 Days Later, where they, were like, that, uh, that zombie's, uh, tied to the chain. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you can take advantage of, like, putting them in your car, and they will try to jump out. They might even be able to attack you at the same time. They can jump out if the vehicle fails to pick them up every time they jump, but usually they'll claim back into it if the car's staying still. Um, and these shadows also make great shields. At, at this event, everybody's gonna try to be going for the shadows, but, um, they're not gonna be great shields for that long if there's if there's a sniper or anything like someone with an off you can use them and like try to lure them in front of you and that makes a great shield they're not gonna last long but off the off has low dps so it's gonna take pretty long to kill them because they have to put in two shots it's gonna take around two shots because the uh the monster doesn't move that much and it's hard to hit um but Yeah, it can. Yeah, it can still be a headshot, but it'll still take two shots around. It's not. It's not very reliable at all. But I do. I do enjoy um, trying to like block other people's shots with it. Um, if you want to kill shadows, and you don't have a specific good weapon for it, you want to use uh, weapons like the PPSH, the SCARL, the AK-47. The AUG as well. The AUG is actually good. The AUG is better than I thought. I just discovered it. The AK-47 is also great because it three shots head. Um, the AK-971, it's old meta, but it's still meta. Um, you can still use the ACWR if you want, but the ACWR doesn't do much damage anymore. It's not great. The SCAR has recently become the better meta. Um, the ACW used to be the best one because uh, back when this game just came out and it was like still in alpha testing, people used the ACW a lot. It used to be very meta, but then then the AEK stepped it because people have suggested using that as well, and then everybody starts using the AEK all of a sudden. AK is pretty good. Speaking of that, 50. That's the one of the highest DPSs in the game. It's very effective, but it has a lot of recoil and it has high spread. So that being said, um, the M50 is good for killing shadows as well. Just you know, try to max out their accuracy. Like I said last time, accuracy perk is pretty important. Also, minigun. Usually the minigun is complete garbage, but for shadows you're gonna be close. You're gonna be close up, and you're gonna be fighting them um, like quite fast paced. And the minigun is great for that because you can exert damage very fast. Although it's like inaccurate, you can take advantage of how fast it is, and it has high DPS. Just try to be up close when you do it. I also recommend you using. 
yeah. So, yeah, um, there's boss balls and a lot of other shotguns. I know, shotguns are bad, quote unquote. People always overlook guns that they don't use. If you do not try every gun when you use it, you are not a good weapon reviewer. Your opinion does not, not matter if you don't use it. People say the P90 is great, it's not great. I've tried it and it does 16 damage. Um, 40% of it is gone when you actually do the math. Well, I'll give me one second. 0.6. Oh crap. Um. 9.6. It does 9. It does 9.6 damage on headshot. Or not headshot, crap. Uh, body shot with spec off armor. Who uses it? It takes 11 shots. Wait, okay, let me do it for headshot. Let me do it for headshot. 16 times 1.5. And then times 0 0.7 to the 30. 16.8 damage on headshot. This is garbage. I'm telling you guys, this is garbage, okay? Do not use the P90. Everybody does not listen to me. The P90 has good damage, but it's such a trash secondary. I can't even tell you. God help you guys. God help you guys. Um. I would recommend the Magnum Beretta. I really like the Beretta, and I've always liked it. It's never been bad because it, it's just a common secondary. It's it's a good secondary. It might not be a good weapon weapon, but it's a good secondary secondary. It's a good quick draw weapon because you know, say you run out of ammo in your first weapon quickly, and then you just buy your Beretta. You get a few extra shots, and it does have high DPS. Terrible, terrible man. Who are you fighting? It's not good on any actual good players. Who? <sighs> okay. And then the 870 MCS is decent as well. I mean... The 870 is decent as well, then. I mean, everything is just... The 870 is fine! The 870 is fine! I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. All the shotguns are good, okay? Yes, they're not good at range, because their spread is just god-awful, but... It's not as bad as the minigun spread. Yes, the shotgun. The shot- uh, the shotgun spread- Yeah, it's a shotgun! A shotgun! Did you hear me on that? A shotgun. It's not a sniper rifle! It is not a sniper rifle! I'm gonna make an inventory guide later, because some people don't know how to use their inventory either. God damn it. Okay. That's seriously all for now. I don't have anything else to say. That's everything. Um, see you guys in the next one.